Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop, 10 more minutes, time to chief bill in action, sounds of drama, just a little cliffhanger every now and then, <laughs> that's not drama, that's just good Bobo TV, <laughs> Okay, I got my hole drilled in there. Alright, the old tubo fits right there. And I got that marked on that bulkhead, okay, and I can see it. Made me a little box for this. This tube had a little hole in it already. So I just go ahead and drilled one and put through there. Now, uh, I could put a screw in it, but I think I'm, I'm going to leave this in a few slots. And, uh, but it will be removable if I have to. But I'll probably have to take the tube out. You know what I mean? But I got me some epoxy there. You know, and I found that if you spread your epoxy on there, this is five minutes. Let it sit, just like four minutes. And then slap it up there. It does two things. Keeps you from wog wobbling it around and uh, spreading your glue out. And uh, also keeps you from sitting there having to hold it for a long time. Might be able to get a clamp on I guess. Let's see if I can spread this clamp on. Yeah. Okay. But, I started this movie right when I did this. So, I know how much time I got left. Man, it is cold outside. It is winter time in DeVille. <laughs> we got plowed with, I don't know, seven inches. It wasn't that much, I guess, six. It was blizzarding so hard yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Couldn't even see. Then it froze like that. It was starting to melt, you know. Then it froze, got down below, way below zero. Now the streets are skating nice rain. Good thing I ain't got to get out in that mess. Okay. Been about four minutes. Let's go ahead and stick her in there. Stick her in there right there. Stick her up. Get this clamp on it. Once I get that glue, once I get that bulkhead glued in, you don't want to have no wobble side to side. It had a little bit front to back, but you got to remember that's my flat part. It won't It'll be all right. Sure hope so. Yeah. Line 
lined up beautifully. Now I can go ahead and pull this bulkhead out. Okay, I test fitted it for the last time. Now I need to make me some patterns of these two bulkheads. Put this fuselage back in my mold, mark these holes. Then I can start gluing my bulkheads in. And cut my wood. I'm going to get all my wood cut this afternoon. That's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Get all my wood cut so I can lay me up a rudder. Should it probably going to take me most of the day to get the wood cut from my rudder. Then I'm going to cut templates. Yeah, and then just cut my foam, get all my glass cut, get ready to lay that bad boy up. Can't lay my elevators up yet. Paul's making my pins. Um, just trying to figure out what's next. We're we're getting wound down. Associated went by there yesterday to get some of that white surface coat that I made that last mold of of my gear doors you know I want to use it on that canopy uh, mold because it's got so many parting planes that that surface coat I can just mix this one surface coat remember it's thicker it's about the consistency of uh, mayonnaise it's pretty nice stuff and uh, we're going to give it a try on uh, the canopy mold and i got to mold this engine hatch. See, even this engine hatch here, this is going to be a four-part mold. The top, the front, the back, the bottom. So with that surface coat, I can do that a lot faster. But they're all, they was all out. He's got some ordered. So as soon as that comes in, I'm going to get them two molds done. Then all of my molds will be done. I'd like to just uh, get this thing finished up. What do you guys think? Sound like a plan? How about getting on that for me? <laughs> Any volunteers? <laughs> no. No, we got it whooped now. We're on a downhill slide, man. I got I got Thunder Chief parts laying everywhere. Man, I really like these ducks. I think these ducks just turned out awesome. That is so smooth in there. I just think they turned out awesome. I think we should put a lampshade on it for the stalking. Windows <laughs> with a little skirt or something. <laughs> All right, back to serious business. Okay, this is dry now. Set up. Get back in there. See, this ain't the actual one. Okay, this is a solid rod. This is just what we're using to put the in between the two. They got to be separate because there's uh, the tailpipe. Goes right between the two. Oh, that's what that is. That's the Bobo timer. We all know what that means. This episode of Bob TV is coming to an end. Bam! Here's my box with that screw hole. Now I'll plug the bottom of that to where that bottom's out and then that screw hole's right there. I'll just have to turn it to find it. But tune back into the shop to see that in the next episode of